Okay, we're given a table, and what we're going to do is estimate the uh, total population um, when we're given the rate of growth. So really, in essence, what we're trying to do is find a definite integral between the years 1970 and 2000. Because the function name is R of T, that would go in here, and DT would go after it. All right, but to do this, what we're going to do is actually use left-hand limits, endpoints, and right-hand endpoints. And we're going to think of these as being uh, Riemann sums. So for the left-hand endpoints, we're going to start at the left-hand side, 1970, go up to 1.5, and then over to 1980 to kind of form a rectangle is how you can kind of visualize this. All right, so in 1970, um, it had a rate of 1.5. So that's like the height, right? The output value there of, of R of T. And that goes for 10 years, so we're gonna multiply it by 10. Basically, we're calculating 1.5 multiplied by 10. We're trying to get the area of this rectangle. The next rectangle is gonna start in 1980, go up to 1.9, over to 1990. So to that, we're gonna add 1.9 times 10 more years, plus, one more rectangle to draw here for this first one. goes all the way up to 2.2 and over to 2,000. So that's a height of 2.2 for a 10-year period. As we do all these calculations, we're going to work out to be 56 for our left-hand endpoints. All right, for right-hand endpoints, it's the same idea except for a little bit different, that we don't draw these up on the left-hand side. Instead, what I would probably do is go ahead and start at the right-hand side, go up here, and then over to make a rectangle. So that's going to be the calculation 2.4 multiplied by 10, right? It still has 10 as the width of this rectangle, and 2.4 is the height of that rectangle. Plus, now we go up to 2.2. I guess that should technically be a little bit lower than 2.4. So 2.2 is the height multiplied by 10 years. And then we'll finish this up going only up to 1.9 over. So 1.9 times 10. This works out to be 65. Okay, so we got an underestimation using our left hand endpoints on this one. We got an overestimation using the right hand endpoints. So the best estimate of what the total population was um, is probably somewhere in between. So to get the best estimate possible, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the average, 56 plus 65, divided by 2. This works out to be right about 60.5. All right, so that's probably going to be a better estimation uh, than the left-hand endpoints or the right-hand endpoints on this. So that would be my best guess would be about uh, 60.5, and I guess that's 1,000 people. All right, hope this helps. Good luck.